Well, it's the last day of April. I'm out here on the north end of Bay Adams. Ran down Grand Bayou. I'm going to work the edge of the little grass islands, and then when the sun comes up good, I'm going to start watching for birds. The speckled trout ought to be in close, and they ought to be under the birds. So let's see what happens today. Well, we got a beautiful sunrise coming up on the Empire Bridge right there in the background. I'm looking around, I don't see any birds gathered up yet. They got these tail and drum everywhere. I don't know if there's a black drum or a red, but I just hooked something good. This is going to be an all-day fight here. If this one's the tail I thought I saw, he's a mule. Listen to him popping everywhere. Come on, let's get you uh, off this off this line. Come on. That's why the fight was so weird. That's why it was so strange. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> well, you hear that drum? Never wonder how they got their name. <laughs> now that's a drum right there. Oh, Lordy. Good way to start the day. Oyster fisherman came to work his reef, so I'm gonna leave. And I think I saw my first group of birds off on the horizon, so let me run out there and see what I can come up with. So even if they're not active, if they're just sitting there, there'll still be fish under them. The cork's already under. Something hitting it. Feels like a sail cat. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I you know a lot of people eat these though. I don't know if they're sail cats, there might be specks. I said I'm going to have to try one of these. <clears throat> oh, so it looks like this group of fish is all sail cats. It looks like the same one. It's fish under the birds, you just don't know what kind they're going to be. <laughs> as soon as I turn the camera off and the birds all leave, I pick up two specks. So this is what I'm looking for today. Are oh, there fish under them? Might be little fish. They're hitting the cork, but I'm not getting the hook set. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Look at the shrimp jumping, y'all. Cork tundra already. Well, you saw that tail hit the
<laughs> that ain't a speck. <laughs> oh, I've... King of the sail cat today, baby. You can tell by the way he's swimming. Nice keeper too. You never seen so many sail cats in your life. Almost every cast I'm catching one. Look at that. See as soon as you throw out, look. Yowzer. He got me a little bit with that spine stuck out like that. <laughs> Damn sail cats. Still catching sail cats. In the cork hunter right now. Yeah, that's a cat. Ooh, I take that back. <laughs> nice big, big speck. Biggest one of the morning so far. Put the old fire tiger on and just caught a nice keeper speck. Oh, just missed one. Another nice speck. Beautiful speck here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's just like the winter now. Another little one. Male, you're gonna make 12 inches. What a hooking gun, I know that. <laughs> Hat is messing me up. What do we got? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's 12. There we go, that's what we're looking for today, right there. That's what I'm looking for today, right there. Nice speck on a on a fake shrimp. Oh yeah, not huge trout, but they trout. The birds are pretty much quit uh, quit diving, but they're still sitting on the surface. And usually if they're just sitting there, the specks are still under them. Take it down. Might be some decent sized specks too, it's hard to say. That's a good one, if that's a speck. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In the boot, in the boot. Oh, yes. Get my bait back. Uh, he kept my shrimp. That ain't fair. That ain't legal. Right when you get in them, they give you a lot of difficulties. See, he got me all slimed up, so I'm having a hard time with this. Getting the shrimp on the hook. Look at him chasing the shrimp right there. I'd put my trolling motor on and keep me on this spot. Here we go, here we go. Coming in like a speck. That's what I want. Speck, speck, speck. Beautiful. Look, shrimp whiskers hanging out this one's mouth. This is a sail cat. Or the biggest trout of the day. But I know what it is already. The way he goes down like that at the last second. She uked. <sighs> I 
I have never caught so many seal cans. Like right here in front of the boat, they got fish chasing shrimp to the top. Look at that, as soon as it hits the water. See the shrimp jumping over there? And that's a keeper speck. Oh yeah. seal cat or oh, a really big speck it hasn't went straight down yet a nice speck nice speck real nice speck I'm getting to where I need to stop and make a count. This is insanity today. Might be a good spec. I need two more to make my limit. Oh, that's a nice one. Need one more. One more fish and we can call it a day. Alright, I think I got 24 in the box. This might be 25 right here. In the box, in the box. Yeah, the specs actually got bigger as the day went on today. Kind of opposite of what usually happens. All right, let's do a death chest count. 25 specks in the death chest. We're about two weeks away from the May brown shrimp season, and sure enough, the shrimp are in and the trout are underneath them. So found a whole bunch of birds hitting on the top, and the specks and sail cats are under them. <laughs> Boy, I had to weed through some sail cats today. Got finned by two. So 25 specks in the death chest. Should be able to repeat this for the next few weeks. Till the next video, get out there and go fishing.